family get on the support of Mary Dash Tony Mary the lead today is Trigger Tuesday in my city, Chicago. June 14th. 20. 22. Time over here. It's twelve forty-five. See my little Christmas tree and all that. This is the game I play with myself. A lot of people play games with themselves, so I play games with myself. But the actual time, allegedly in my city, Chicago, is twelve fifty-five. Switch it around. You got 525. And the number one. My birthday, May 25th. That's when I was born, 1967. I want you to take a good look at my face. And I want you to take a good look at this person out here in this hallway. Because nothing happens in this world by mistake. Nothing in this world happens by mistake. Nothing happens in this world by mistake. Okay? And timing is everything. Now, one thing I am not is a punk or scared or nothing like that. Now, the last time I went out, I seen my neighbor. You understand what I'm saying? And you know what the tripped out part is? Because I don't think about a lot of motherfuckers for real, for real. Didn't even realize it was his ass. You understand what I'm saying? But all that stuff he was talking back and forth with me before. Yeah, you know I man. He wasn't talking that shit when I was in the, you know, in the streets. And he had went one way and I had went another way. And I caught up to him. I said, you just not making it. You know what I'm saying? So that's not the topic I'm want to speak on. I want to speak on my face, though. Okay, because like I said, nothing happens in this world by mistake. And the devil is always trying to distract me from doing me. Hey, the game, I missed that motherfucker. <laughs> it wasn't meant for me to watch that motherfucker, obviously. But long story short. Now, let's keep it for real, for real. This is for all my real Mary McAmyers out there, my real foster children, my real uh, victims, my real uh, ones that's been abused and things of that nature or whatever, like your girl, Mary Lee, and Dash Twin, and Mary and Lee, you'll get a news reporter and originator of real rap music. Now, they say that Emmett Till was 14 years old. Today is the 14th. About five days before Father's Day. Father's Day is on my ex-girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans' birthday, June the 19th, which is Sunday. They said Emma Till whistled at a white girl in Money, Mississippi. Okay. Now, they say books, movies are corrupt, suicide is way up. Now, did it happen for real? Or is it all based around me, Mary Lee, your ghetto news reporter and originator of rap music, and whom has never gotten anything out the deal other than railroaded, sabotage, and disease? When I was a little baby, you know what I'm saying? You got my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, Plus One Song. I had all kinds of diseases. When I went to live with my foster family, the Redmonds, and who end up going to Lexington, Mississippi, or who was residing in Chicago, when I met them, 1335 East 75th Street, I was six years old in 1973. Because I stood up for myself for being a child abuse victim. And because I stood up for myself, I've been catching hell 
all my life. But when I went to go stay with them, the Redmonds, you know, I had all kinds of diseases and it took my foster mother a long time to get rid of them. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it was. And I had a feeling by the way they had did my mother, Mary Lee Wright, you know, and how she was looking in nursing homes and sickly and all that, I figured they was going to do me like that in the end. And I believe the only thing that kept me alive was my writings and the fact that I am the originator of rap music. But now they don't need me anymore. They've generated enough money. You understand what I'm saying? They're trying to, you know, finish the job or make it seem as though I'm the problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm the nasty person. Now, I'm not. I've been in this location, 6210 South Kenbach Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Apartment 308, one with the white door. I don't drink drugs, smoke, fornicate. That's the honest guy's truth, but I'm surrounded by a bunch of men who can't rape to violate me one last time like doo-doo. I guarantee you, most of these motherfuckers in here probably got all kinds of diseases. I'm just willing to talk about the one that my um some white girl gave to me in my 20s. I just turned 55, May 25th. I was born 1967. None of these niggas in here gave me a happy birthday or nothing. I saved a lot of these motherfuckers' lives and shit just by keeping it real. Real fucking tote. Nursing them back to health with the word and, you know, being a stand-up real motherfucker. Which means I'm more a man than them. Long story short, just got through watching this movie, Not Easily Broken with Taraji P. Henson. You understand what I'm saying? It's a good movie. They uploaded it May 31st. I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarming a police officer, something I did not do. A lot of stuff happened May 31st. You know, Rosewood, Black Wall Street, bombing, all kind of shit. It's all boiled down to jealousy and envy. Now, if Emmett Till got killed, allegedly, for whistling at a white lady, you know what I'm saying? Why is the white man allowing, you know, make girls or whatever to do whatever and stuff? But this is the reason why God don't want us to intermingle with them. Because like I said, in my 20s, this is what I ended up getting from a white girl. I don't know that bitch name to this day. Real fucking tell. And it's been, you understand what I'm saying, following me for over three decades. A cold sore. They call it herpes, though. Real fucking tough. But the white man doctor called it a kissing disease. You understand what I'm saying? Now, they got cures for all this shit. Believe me, they do. But for some reason, they just don't want me, you know what I'm saying, to help my people, which is to foster children, to be the best they can be because they railroading us and throwing us under the bus. And the ones that's got family that's using us up and shit, you understand, think it ain't going to come back to haunt them. Well, God is trying to tell you something, fathers. See, like I said, today's the 14th, Emmett Till was 14 years old, you understand what I'm saying? And Father's Day is not too far away. A lot of fathers have thrown their goddamn children under the bus. Real fucking talk. Girls, especially. The first one that's going to break your heart is what? Your father. You understand? Real talk. And that's why trust ain't easily come by. And your um your mother, nine times out of ten, do whatever to try to hold on to a piece of man, especially if... You know, they got children or whatever. You seen the movie Precious? My uh, so-called sister, Linda Nelson, oldest sister. You know, I try to prevent her from being fucked around and shit. When it got the police, cause somebody was, some guy was fucking her around. Yeah, you know, put my life in jeopardy and shit. And the police knocked on the door. She got a black guy, and guess what happened? She denied. It. Denied anything was going on. Then the next day, that same motherfucker tried to come at me. I said, I'm not my sister. I'll kill you. I'll cut your fucking throat. Real fucking toe. And it's the truth. Real toe. So, 
you know, my life is based on a lot of shit. I ain't trying to go back and forth and shit. Y'all know what time it is by now. Nothing happens in this world by mistake and time is everything. For my little children out there, you know what I'm saying? Don't be so quick to fall in love. Ain't no such thing. Whatever they do to me, they was going to do to you. They just used me to get to you. Real talk. They trying to promote pedophilia. They just want to fuck babies. You understand? They fucked me as a baby. I probably sucked more dick than a bottle as a baby. You understand what I'm saying? I was supposed to be retarded, but I ended up being a genius. I figured everything out that they was doing to me. And they mad and they trying to use their family as leverage to try to make it seem though, you know, they got their shit together. When in fact, I'm the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers still got y'all family. My relationship with my ex-girlfriend, Donna Marie Evans, the Italian stallion, the real estate agent and the banker and the person who stole my uh, writings and who did not look like me, but looked more like a Caucasian. Real talk, I believe she set me up. You understand what I'm saying? You know, for a lot of bad shit to happen and stuff, for real, because somebody had fucked her around. Hurt people, hurt people, right? All skin folk ain't kin folk, though. Um, you know, I try to bring everybody full circle. I was with Donna for about 11 years because of her son, Mario. I figured, you know, somebody had to be there for, you know, that's, I'm just a cool, kind person. But, you know, people try to take people like me for granted. And I'm like, bitch, them days is over. Now, y'all really in trouble. You don't save me. Real fucking tough. My ex-girlfriend, uh, Lawanda Joy Jacobs, who was just, you know, in my life to be nosy and shit. Jehovah Witness, worked for Blue Cross Blue Shields Insurance. You understand what I'm saying? Was with her for about 15 years now. If I wasn't looking for some kind of family structure or long-term relationship, I wouldn't have been with either one of them for that goddamn long. So I don't drink, drill, smoke, or fornicate. Okay, real fucking talk, so I'm not the problem. Maybe it's y'all goddamn parents and shit just don't want y'all to have nothing decent in your lives and shit. Or you thought you could just use me and my uh, Mary McAmyers up and my foster children and thought it was nothing going to come back to haunt you niggas and shit. Well, let me tell you something. Just like this motherfucker keep coming back on my face, I'm going to keep coming at you niggas and shit, for real. Real talk. Be honest with your status. Let people know what time it is. And, you know, they gave me cancer in 2016. They probably thought I was going to turn to drugs and give up on myself. But I was like, nah, y'all going to fucking goddamn take accountability for what you did to me and my girls and boys and stuff, for real. My foster children. Time to pay the piper, motherfucker. So you know what I do? I uh, break these balls because the six has come up missing. I don't know what happened. This is the six ball. And then I flip that Bible. And for all you motherfucking fathers out there, fucking your goddamn babies and your mothers, allowing this shit to happen, that old generational curse, White ball is the one that hit the flow. But they the only motherfuckers goddamn it running this shit like. But you know me, I'ma see what drop for real. So I got the seventh ball, which is completion. The first one don't get you, the second one will. And not only that, the, the uh, seventh ball look like me. It's maroon, nigga. It's the bloodline of a real king and queen. And this is the scripture. Was that Psalms chapter 1 10 or 109? Yeah. I am sick of. So 109 through. They go to that Martin Luther King. I keep flopping to that one. 115. 